Welcome, and as always, I'll have a link down below in the description box if you want to read this at your own leisure. Microsoft Flight Simulator received its first update yesterday, but I couldn't cover it because I didn't know about it and I was busy. Stability Issues The title will no longer crash when different input devices' peripherals are disconnected. The title will no longer crash when the TBM 930 package is deleted. Installation Issues The install process will no longer be blocked after a partial decompression of a package. Uh-huh. The install process will no longer be blocked when a local user account includes non-ASCII characters. The install process will no longer be blocked after a failed connection to the server. The install process will no longer display an empty onboarding screen under certain conditions. The title will download a critical missing deleted package to access the main menu, even if the save data preferences set to offline when an internet connection is available. Content Manager, the title will no longer automatically download packages that have been deleted through the Content Manager. The Content Manager will no longer get stuck in an infinite uh, loading state when checked offline. The creator name of the packages should now be properly updated. Sim Connect, significant frames per second drops when using Sim Connect should no longer affect the experience. Optimization, the performance of the title has been improved when the display nameplate option is set to active. Marketplace, the correct currency is now properly updated in the marketplace. Further updates to Flight Simulator and other deliverables planned for the next few months should come as part of the next development update, which usually arrives on Thursdays, and all the performance improvements and stability fixes should be a welcome addition for those that have faced problems with the game. It's been an absolute chaotic nightmare. But you know what? Whatever. So anyhow, that's the update for that game. And, uh, yeah, so I have it on the, um, Microsoft store, right? So I just went to the, you know, the Microsoft store and I clicked on this thing here and I went to download updates and all that because it didn't do it automatically. And then I clicked on get updates and then this came and then I also got an update for Crusader Kings and a bunch of other useless crap that I don't care about. Obviously, if you're on Steam, it probably did it on its own and, uh, looks like I'm good. Anyhow. That's enough rambling. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And I'll make sure your life, your life, lags. When you wa walk, you like, you jitter. You get crazy in real life FPS issues. Don't ask. It makes sense to me. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, we can work something out. That would be greatly appreciated. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and hopefully I'll see at least some of you in the next video, in which I might make a performance test based on the new patch, kind of see how it's been uh, running in conjunction to, you know, before the patch. All right, that's it. Bye for now.